We're here with FAU head women's soccer coach Patrick Baker after the season opener against Alabama, which resulted in a 4 0 loss. Coach, can you start with an opening statement on uh, today and last night's match? Um, it was great to finally get the season started. Um, full credit to Alabama, uh, really well coached, uh, really good team, uh, a lot of great pieces in a lot of, um, a lot of areas of the field. Um, big five moments really did us in, you know, last night in the stadium before we had the delay, um, you know, we gave up a goal 40 seconds in, uh, we gave up a goal today, 37 seconds from halftime, uh, which was a big blow. Um, and then, you know, you hope we would have learned our lessons, but, uh, you know, a minute and change into the second over or second half, uh, we gave up a third. So. Uh, we're definitely going to have to clean that up and be uh, a lot better starting and ending halves. But, um, you know, proud of just how we tried to compete and what we tried to do, although um, I thought we maybe weren't as sharp, but maybe that credit goes to Alabama. Um, but one game, we just got to package it. We got to flush it as quickly as we can and, um, you know, get ready for the next game, which is coming a lot sooner after last night's delay. Yeah, you touched on it a little bit. So last night, there's an hour delay to start, play seven minutes, then we're waiting around, and then it's delayed until tomorrow morning. So how difficult is that to, especially for a season opener, to be geared up, ready to go, you're waiting around, play a little bit, then you're waiting around, and then all of a sudden yeah. you hear you got to get ready in 12 hours or less, back on, get ready for the match to start again. Yeah, not easy. And, you know, you we've done it a number of times being in South Florida with the weather and you know, uh, we've tried to, to do it a lot of different ways, but, you know, depending on kind of where you're at and what your team is, what time of the year it is, although this is usually one of those times, August, September. Um, but both teams had to deal with it. You know, Alabama deals with it there and, and um, you know, the Southeast as well. But um, it was it was just made for a longer night and, a sh and then um, a shorter night of sleep and an early start to the day, um, you know, trying to get here uh, well before eight, meet the team at nine and then kick off at 10. And now we're literally 48 hours, you know, from our kickoff, which has had to be moved up to accommodate Detroit Mercy's travel. So, you know, um, Sunday morning is going to become a lot quicker than it would have been had we finished the game last night. And then match, like you said, less than 48 hours from now. What are some things that you guys got to clean up and uh, improve on before uh, Detroit Mercy? Well, comes as to town? I mentioned, the big five moments, we definitely have to be a lot more attentive and have better concentration. Um, I think we just seemed rushed at times, and maybe that was due to the pressure that Alabama put on you individually with in small group defending. Um, but we just seemed to be a lot more rushed today than we did against UCF. So hopefully that can be something that we can just be a little bit calmer on the ball, making our uh, reads right, making the, the, the right connections, um, and then just being better in the middle to final third. Um, didn't have that much against a good Alabama team, but um, hopefully with each progression of games, we get a little bit better in the in the in the attack, and um, hopefully we can see some of that on Sunday. All right, thank you, coach. Thanks, sir.